Yo, 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 it's your boys, Breezy, and it's Moe's. I don't even know why I got energy, because the season's over. It's four weeks left. It's four weeks left. Maybe I could double up in the playoffs or something. I don't know, but it's four weeks left, man. There's no way I'm catching up unless Moe's just says, I'm going to give Breezy a week where I don't pick. Whatever he get right, he get right. But it's 114. To 130, that's how I see it. I'm down by 16 mother freaking points. It's a whole week work of football. All the teams play this week, most. I mean, it's a shot. Man, you gotta you gotta go 16 and no, I gotta go 0 and 16. I mean, it's it it's a shot. I need you <clears throat> Thursday night football most. The Chargers at the Raiders. I'm sticking uh, to my script on this right hand side of my computer and I'm sticking with it, period. Okay, cool. Uh li- listen, I this one is tough because I don't understand how the Raiders not score any points against the Vikings and lose three to zero. But now we have a Chargers team that has already been mediocre now without Justin Herbert. Give me. I'm going home team. I'm going Raiders. I, Chargers been dis, been a huge disappointment all year. Now with no Jay Herbo, my guy, I'm going Raiders. Yep, me too. But I know why they couldn't score because when Josh Jacobs got injured, it was kind of like blah. Um, you still got Devontae Adams. I don't know, man. Maybe maybe they loaded the box and. Aiden O'Connor ain't good with a loaded box. There you go. I don't know. You got the Vikings at the Bengals. <clears throat> Another tough game. <clears throat> Another tough game, but listen, don't sleep on Jake Browning. Yeah. I, he, he's he, stepping in, and he's, he's he's finding a way to get it done. Um, You know, Jettis came back last week, left the game with an apparent chest injury, went to the hospital, everything is okay. It looks like he may be able to go this week, but again, you know, all that time he missed plus this new injury, I don't think he's 100%. Um, Vikings defense, um, it doesn't play well consistently enough for me, and they're on the road. Uh, I'm going Cincinnati here. Yeah, same here, going Cincinnati. Um, The Bengals just seem to be more in sync, Um, and the Vikings – Nick Mullins? Nah. I'm good. Oh, Josh uh, Dobbs not playing? He got hurt? Oh, he got benched. Oh, he got benched? <laughs> oh, see, I ain't... I, it's it's late in the season. You know, I'm, I'm focused on our Niners and our players. I, I understand. You know, I, I'm, I, I'm supposed to be paying attention to all of it, but... He whipping my ass and he not even paying attention. You understand what he just said? I don't even got to pay attention. To beat you, Breezy. I got you. And for those that are watching, Keenan Allen will be, he has been ruled out for the Chargers. So, yeah, we went with the Raiders. So, so no Keenan Allen and no Justin Herbert? Yeah, I'm glad we went Raiders. <laughs> glad we already got that stamp. Let's go to the next game, bro. The Steelers at the coast. This is a weird one for me, too, because I just don't think Mitch Trubisky is good enough. In the in the way they just lost to the Patriots at home, ugh. Give me Colts, man. They on the road. I got the Colts too. I got the Colts here. Here's a good one for you: the Broncos at the Lions. Ooh. Can the Lions fall too straight? Mm. That Broncos defense is something to contend with, and the Lions have been struggling as of late. Um. But honestly, I feel like understand watching what's around them, understanding that the path to number one is probably going to be difficult with 
Dallas and San Francisco in front of you, I think that takes some of the pressure off of them. Like now they don't have to worry about being able to compete with two teams who have been better longer. Like these are two teams that people talked about at the beginning of the season, winning their division and contending for the number one seed. Detroit wasn't one of those teams in that conversation. So now that it's a little bit more clear that the number one seed is likely going to go through Dallas or San Francisco, and then in a distant third is Philadelphia, I think the pressure is off of them a little bit. Denver on the road, in the dome, no weather conditions to help them out. I'm going to go Detroit. I got the Lions here. They're at home. I don't just see – I just don't see them losing another game like they lost to a division rival with in the Chicago Bears. I, I think they'll be just fine. I think they'll come out slinging the ball. Hopefully their defense plays better. Um, and I'm going to go Lions here. All right, speaking of Bears, we got the Bears coming up next. Where's my Bears ticker? I must have forgot one. You got the Bears versus the Browns. You ready for this? Here we go. Bears versus Browns. This is a weird one for me. It It is. Because, I, I mean, I wasn't expecting the Bears to play as good as they played against the Lions, even though they did play them well a couple weeks before that. Um, but the Browns are the Browns are playing really, really good with Joe Flacco. I mean, he's yeah. a veteran. He knows what he's doing. He's calm under pressure. Um, so I, I, I think the Bears know the Lions because they're a division opponent. I don't think they know the Browns as well. And they're at home. And Cleveland's going to be a little cold. I'm going to go Browns here. Yeah, I got the Browns here as well. <clears throat> they just seem to be clicking. Um, just a little practice update. Uh, Moore did not practice today. So I'm not sure if he did get a little dinged up in that game last week uh, in their win against Detroit. So we'll see how that pans out. But I, I think the Browns at home will get the job done. I just excuse me, don't see the dynamic from the Bears offense. And for some reason, at the, the Justin Fields that played last year, where we thought he would run and do these things, he's just not that same Justin Fields. He's not doing any of that. Falcons at the Panthers. Falcons. I got the Falcons here as well. Uh, the Buccaneers at the Packers, two six and seven teams, both teams in contention for the playoffs. The Buccaneers are that fourth seed, okay, and then you got the Packers that are in the sixth or seventh seed. I mean, this, this Packers team is weird, right? They win three straight against the Chargers, the Lions. And the Chiefs. And then they lose a stinker to the New York Giants. By field goal. So, this one's tricky for me. I do like the Bucks, though. They, they're they a weird team, too. I, think, I feel like they're the same team. They Honestly, they really are. They are the same team. If I had to go with someone, though, I, this is tough. I'm going to go Packers. Just give me the home team at this point. Yeah, I'm going with the home team as well. Weather should make somewhat of a difference. Whether it's snowing, it's probably going to be cold. Tampa has to travel yeah. to Green Bay. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to go with the Packers here. I think they find a way. To rebound again, they're fighting for a wild card uh, seed, and they want to continue to win. Um, the Buccaneers can still win their division even if they lose this game, uh, especially the the outcome of that Falcons game and whatever the Saints game is going to be. So, the Packers are fighting to get in. The Bucks are kind of fighting to stay as the leader of the division. So we'll see what happens there. Texans at the Titans. Oh, this is another weird game. Another one, cause <laughs> the Titans just beat them. <laughs> just beat the Dolphins. They re they just beat the Dolphins. So, uh, I think to me it's going to depend on if C.J. Stroud. 
plays. He is listed as questionable. He has um, the concussion. He has to clear the concussion concussion protocol. By is it by probably Friday? by Saturday, right? Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that that's a, that's gonna be a game time decision up in the air. And it's in it's at Tennessee. Nico Collins got injured as well. We know there's no Tank Dell. I'm gonna go Tennessee. I'm gonna go Titans at home. Um yeah, I think even if CJ Stroud clears concussion protocol, not being able to practice fully this week and be get prepared for the game plan, I think that's gonna hinder them. The injuries that they suffer are gonna hinder them. Um, and then just Tennessee being at home, a healthy Derrick Henry, a healthy DeAndre Hopkins. Will Levis isn't playing bad. Um, I'm going to go Titans. I said I'm going to stick to my sheet. I got the Titans selected. I'm going to go Titans as well. Uh, let's go Jets at the Dolphins. Ooh. Um, A lot to make about this game, right? Because... Miami just lost to the Titans. The Jets are starting Zach Wilson. Apparently, there's a whole beef with how the Jets handled the quarterback situation and uh, Tim Boyle getting the start after Zach Wilson was benched, but then now they're benching Tim Boyle, and then he was upset about it, and then he told Zach Wilson, and then Zach Wilson was like, bro, that's trash how they did both of us. I'm not playing. And then apparently there was words between Robert Sala and Zach Wilson, and they trying to figure out how he found out before they could tell him and all this other kind of stuff. And that's why Tim Boyle got cut. <laughs> that's what somebody said. They said it was make believe. It's a lot of drama going on with the Jets right now. Um, but I don't see Miami losing two in a row, um, especially two in a row at the crib. See that. So I'm gonna go Dolphins. All right. So there's an injury to Tyreek Hill. Yes. Tyreek Hill is the is the same explosiveness to their offense as Debo Samuel is to the 49ers offense. Yeah. I feel like if Tyreek Hill doesn't play, their offense doesn't tick, and they're beatable. They're about to play a crazy defense that just came off of a win. They put up 30 points this past week offensively. They only gave it what seven. You know what? I'm going to flip the script. I'm going to pick the Jets. I'm going with okay. Jets on the road. Jets on the mother freaking road. Fight night. Let's go. We got another and, New York football team, bro. And the, and the Dolphins are, are are losing their starting center, too. Oh, what you got? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Connor Williams tore his ACL, so he's done for the season. Uh, oh, so. man, be praying for the dude. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. You, you got the New York football Giants traveling to Nolens. To take on them Saints, three-way tie for that. Uh, that as far as record in the NFC South, um, this is a non-divisional game. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, Saints, Giants. Who you going? Part of me wants to take the home team. And another part of me doesn't want to take the bait of the Giants beating the Packers at home. But I think there's a real energy around Tommy DeVito. Yes, sir. As a starting quarterback for the Giants. Mm -hmm. um, and while the Saints may have better skill position players... I, I don't think there's the same amount of belief in the coaching staff and the quarterback as there is in giant as there is with the Giants, um, especially right now at this moment. So I'm gonna go underdog here. I'm going to go with the New York Football Giants. Same here. Got the New York Football Giants finding a way to get a win on the road against the Saints. All right, here we go. It's Chiefs at the Patriots. I believe Ramondre Stevenson will be back this week. 
They will get their run game going. Ezekiel Elliott's been holding it down, believe it or not. Um, they will be at home. The Chiefs will be the Chiefs lose two in a row. The Chiefs will be coming off of an of a of a loss. Uh, but I don't know how angry they are or how angry they gotta be to get a win. Do they defeat Bill Belichick, who is reportedly rumored to no longer be the head coach after this season of the New England Patriots? I don't see I didn't see them losing two in a row. I don't <laughs> see them losing three in a row. Um, yeah, it's something anything, about these Patriots, dog. I'm telling I you, know, man. but if, if, if anything, the Chiefs are pissed about how the game ended last week. I hear you, bro. And I think this is probably this is one of those games where they get back to being those Chiefs. I don't like think they have up a forty burger. I don't think they got the weapons to put up a forty burger. I'm not trying to persuade you. I want you to pick who you want. I'm just I'm just having casual conversation because me and I you know. watch the games. I, I look at the Patriots defense, bro. Who was one of who what free agent safety did I want on this team? On our team? Jabril? Ja freaking I was yo, he's having a great year. Can you imagine if that was the we drafted one, but if we would have picked up a free agent, could you imagine him being a hybrid safety linebacker on this team? Could play Nuts. nickel. Yo, that would be that would be crazy. And people thought he couldn't be healthy. He just was in the wrong systems. Like he was. I don't know, man. This is tough. Like I and I agree with you because I picked the Chiefs to win. But every time I pick against the Patriots, they win. And every time <laughs> I pick the Patriots, they lose. They lose. I want the Chiefs to lose because I don't care about them. I'm gonna go with the Chiefs with my boy Moe's. I'm not. Ah, I feel like I should pick the Patriots. Ah, damn. I'm going to go Patriots. Pump it. Really? Pump it. I don't care about this record, bro. We going to a game anyway. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Patriots. All right. I'm going with the Patriots. Got Commanders at the Rams. Rams. Rams been playing he said good. That confident. That was Ram, they have they have they, have, they have been playing good, and I don't trust good. the Commanders. They've been playing. I don't good. trust Sam Howell. I don't trust that defense. I don't trust the offensive line. I'm going Rams. All right, I'm going with the Rams too. The Lambs, Rams, and now you got the 49ers at the Cardinals, and I know we're going to pick the 49ers because mm -hmm. we're the more dominant team. Mm -hmm. uh, but but. The Cardinals, I think, are going to come out scrapping. Of course. Early until they get punched in the mouth. Exactly. Okay. As long as we on the same bill. Speaking of bill, we got the Cowboy Bills going against the Buffalo Bills. Now, this might be the game of the week. I think so. I think um, so. Which means nobody's going to be watching our game except for us. But Correct. who cares? Um. I'm going with Bills here. So am I. Okay. I think I think they're 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 seven and six. They're fighting for their playoff lives. There is a log jam. I mean a log jam. There's one, two, three, four, five, six teams that are seven and six right now in the, in the AFC? AFC. Wow. And if we're and if we're looking at those teams based off of our picks. We picked the Bengals to win, and we picked the Colts to win. Yep, we picked the Bengals, and we picked the Colts. I think we picked against the Broncos. We picked against Houston, and we picked against Pittsburgh. But still, like, if one of these 16 wins, then they get pushed to the top of that log jam. So I think Buffalo has a prime opportunity to, one, stay in line with this particular playoff race for one of those wild card spots, but then also to do so against a really good football team. So, you know, they were able to beat the Chiefs. They were this close to beating Philly. Um, you know, they were able to beat the Dolphins earlier in the year. So I think with everything that they've gone through, all of the injuries, 
still have Josh Allen. James Cook is stepping his game up. They still have Stephon Diggs. Like, this is a team that can play with the big boys, right? So I think you stay in the AFC playoff picture and you beat a really, really good team in the Dallas Cowboys on your home field. Um, I think the motivation is there, um, and I think they have the ability to do it. So that's why I'm going Bills. I just think the Bills are going to be the better team. I get it. Cowboys are hot, but they're traveling to Buffalo. Um, and like you said, the Bills are fighting. It's different when you're – the Bills are fighting. We'll leave it at that. So, yeah, Bills for me. Ravens at the Jaguars. Um, Jaguars, they they look like they were pretty bad. Trevor Lawrence played last week. I didn't think he was going to play. I mean, ended up playing. So now this, this could be a pretty pretty good ball game. You got the number one seed against, what, the number four seed, number three seed in the AFC. This is going to be a pretty good battle as well. This is your Sunday night football game. Who are you rolling with? Hmm. Yikes, that, that throws a wrench into what I was going to do. Jags have lost two in a row. Mm-hmm. Playing the Ravens, they would lose three in a row. Now, this is Sunday Night Football. This is at home. The Ravens haven't looked as good as they could without um, Mark Andrews. But they still are the Ravens. Ah. I'm going Ravens. <laughs> yeah, it was easy for me. Uh, I get it, but yeah, it's easy for me. It's the Ravens. Monday Night Football, Eagles at Seahawks. Eagles traveling all the way to the west, northwest region of the country. The Seahawks have to win this game. This is a must win for the Seattle Seahawks if they want to keep their playoff hopes alive. The Eagles kind of must win too if they want to keep in contention of the number one seed but if they lose three in a row they are ready to fifth seed maybe the eagles just want to get into the playoffs and find a way to get healthy and scrap their way but um who you got winning this game intelligent me wants to go philly but asshole me wants to go Seahawks. And if there's any time for the Seahawks to catch somebody slipping, this is a perfect time for them to catch the Eagles slipping. The Eagles are reeling because they were the hottest thing smoking in football. But the past two weeks, they got their asses whooped. And I told you, I said this to you. I said, mm-hmm. if there, last week, I said, if there's any team that's going to follow the blueprint of the 49ers, it would be the Dallas Cowboys. And if there's another team that can follow that blueprint, <laughs> particularly offensively, it can be the Seattle Seahawks. At home, in front of the 12s, I think DK is pissed because he got thrown out of the game last week. He's going up against his former college teammate and AJ Brown. You know, there's some, while they are brothers, there are still some competitive juices to say I'm the better receiver. You got Tyler Lockett, you know, Kenneth Walker is getting healthy. Zach Charbonnet has been breaking tackles and been a battering ram for them. You get Geno Smith back a little bit, you know, more healthy than he was. If there's any time, it would be this time. And I mean, listen, nobody thought the 49ers were going to lose three in a row, and we did. It's Mm. possible. I'm going Seahawks. All right, I'm going to go with the Eagles here um, because they got to find a way to snap out of it. And the Seahawks technically aren't really a good team. But they, they, they... 
they have won games. So let's just keep it a buck. There's a possibility that they could take advantage of a weaker team at, at its most vulnerable moment. So I wouldn't surprise Pete Carroll to run a fake punt, toss right, halfback dive up the middle with the coach on the sideline. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. And I don't think the Eagles would be prepared. One of these teams is going to throw a trick in this game, or do a trick in this game. But I'm going to go with the Eagles on the road. I want them to lose, um, but I'm going to go with them. I'm hoping the Seahawks win, though. So I'll go Eagles. All right, so we got a couple of games, three games. Yeah, we got three differences right three now. Three differences. All right, I got Eagles, Patriots, and Jets. Oh, yeah, the Jets. B -b -b Benny and the Jets. Ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all so much for tuning in to Pace Skin Picks. Listen, we appreciate you guys. The season's almost over. Moses about to win. We got about three more weeks after this to do this uh, show. So we do appreciate you. If you guys like it, leave a comment in the comment section on one of our channels. Let us know if there's anything you would like to see differently uh, in the new upcoming season or whatever. We're open to all constructive criticism. But we do appreciate those that take the time out of their day to watch this small show that we got going. We like having fun, talking about other teams, and, and giving our thoughts and processes on how those games go down. I just don't like losing. At the end of the day, it's all love, Mose. All right? Appreciate you, yes, man. Sir. Guys, thanks for tuning in. And we'll see y'all next week. Peace. <laughs>